Good morning, and welcome to my van thing. Um, <laughs> hello to everybody who's supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me just kind of show you what this shit is all about. Uh, so I've been in this van now for a week, and there's plenty to improve. But overall, it feels really pretty livable, and I'm rather surprised that my first build went as well as it did. Could have been worse. So, I guess here's 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 the tour. Let's let's see what happens. Um, right now, I am parked somewhere in uh, the middle of southern Iowa, I suppose, and. I am just doing my morning routine, which has been drive somewhere, make breakfast, work a little bit, and do some exercise before I move on. So yeah, it's like, um, what time? 9.30 in the morning. I've been around here for about three hours. And I don't drive too much in one stretch, I just drive an hour or two. Um, so, yeah, the driving part hasn't been too bad. Anyway, the van. So, here's uh, the whole situation. I've got my bed, my Appaloosa, um, very important. I have a nice uh, pine wood panel ceiling. Um, I like, I like wood, light wood, dark wood, soft wood, hard wood, all the woods. And, um, I just thought that the whole thing would look more homey and cabin like if there was a lot of wood. So I've got, I've got my bed here. I've got my clothing. I've got a bunch of shit kind of bathroom situation none of these have cabinet doors on them and that was a decision i made because i thought uh in a lot of the videos that i saw people with van builds with cabinet doors it makes the space look a lot more enclosed and i kind of liked seeing everything um so to keep things from sliding out sometimes i put some chains in front of there so far it hasn't been a problem so i guess it, it works my my sink my water um, and I've got a full shower and everything um, my little coat rack and my chair and my my workspace my desk where all the magic happens um, there's a pull out fridge over there uh, I've got an induction cooker that I use for breakfast, basically. I've got little 12 volts and 120 volts everywhere. And uh, got some entertainment, my library, I suppose, to, with a nice oak finish. Um, internet is a big concern, so I've got both my phone, which could be a hot spot, and I've got this. Netgear LTE modem hooked up to my router. A lot of these wires could go away, but I've just I just set this up a couple days ago, so I left them there. And so my computer, because I'm doing all this Patreon work, and I think backing up is very important. My computer backs up to this little System76 guy, which is running uh, an MD array off of these. SSDs, so I have my local backup, and then this guy also backs up to um, an Amazon S3 bucket. So I feel like I've got myself pretty well covered there. It's working pretty nice. I'm trying to get all of it to run off of the 12 volt system, but my router right now is running off the 120 volt just because uh, I forgot to get an extra adapter. It's in the mail, and I'll have to pick it up at some point. So, my Intuos 4, best tablet in the world. Um, it's a little bit snug. You can see the walkway is it's kind of wide, but it's a little bit snug. Um, I'm finding it comfortable. Um, yeah, 
like everything that you see is basically what it is some lights for my leds dimmer switches very important for me um shower light and um i have two 14 inch max air fans one here pushing air in and one here pulling air out thermal curtains that are insulating the cab and the back door um so far it's worked really well i've had some cold nights that were uh in the low 40s high 30s and i was still comfy in here without running a heater all of my systems are electric um i uh here's my little heater here 500 watt heater um i even have oh under the sink here i've got my hot water heater electric hot water heater and just a jerry can that's where the output of the sink goes and my garbage um so yeah at some point maybe i'll uh add some gas appliances just to take pressure off the electric system but it seems to work pretty good uh so yeah, i'm lazy so maybe not oh um the whole thing is powered by 600 watts of solar on the roof which is about the limit that the surface area of my van ha has that goes to some batteries that we're going to see here in a second and all i have to monitor everything is just just this one colometer and in fact it's in the morning and it looks like we've started charging so i get down to about 80 percent every night um that's just running the fridge and my computers the inverter runs 24 7 um so far that seems to be the easiest thing uh, i wish i had an inverter remote panel but unfortunately they were out of stock so i wasn't able to get one so but the cola meter yeah that's very cool it sh shows the percentage which is based on amp hours that i have um i can also at a glance view my amperage my consumption the remaining amp hours and the voltage of the battery bank so typically i just leave it on percent because otherwise i get distracted by all the flashing numbers uh the cab oh it's it's very dirty i haven't cleaned it out yet it's still got sawdust in there. Um, these are my beautiful plant children. <sighs> my lucky bamboo. And my sad peace lily. I call it a sad peace lily because I haven't yet gotten it to make flowers. And I think that's because it's sad. So I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. Anyway, the van situation. This is a Ram Promaster and uh, 2500, as you can see there. Uh, it's like 20 feet long and uh, what is it? Eight feet high, nine feet, something like that. I should really find out the exact measurements. It's, it's not that big. It doesn't look that big for all the space that I have. Um, I really like this spot, by the way. So here is what I am tentatively calling the garage space. And one of my little curtain things broke. So I've got to do this manually. But back here you can see my electrics. Um, again, there's a 12 and 120 volt system. My, my uh, solar panels go into this charge controller. And my, here's the fuse box for my 12 volts. It goes to the small appliances like the lights and the fans. Um, and then my big bad boy inverter right over here, 2000 watts. And um, there's the fuses or breakers for that. And then my battery bank, 300 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate. So, there's some things about this setup that I might change or that I've learned. So first off, this is a 12 volt battery bank. They're in parallel. Probably if I'm running the big appliances like um, the hot water heater and stuff, I would probably 
get four of these and make it a 24 um, 24 volt system just because you can see some of the big juicy like if you see the the uh, wires going to the inverter like they're I think one slash zero something crazy like that like the amperage is killing me it's about 150 amps of 12 volt to to run a 1400 watt heater so that was kind of a mistake but honestly um not that big of a deal so just some efficiencies i could cut down on the size of my wires if i did this a little different differently i have uh, a 40 gallon water tank and a little water pump running off the 12 volt system pretty juicy i have yet to i was in a hurry to get things done i have yet to install a proper valve for this i just used the hose and i dump water into it i i've been getting my water from like state parks and stuff um and 40 gallons mean i don't fill up that often i have some tools i have drill oh the, i guess the one last thing is the inverter is also a charger so that's what this shit is i can plug into a 120 volt grid and charge the batteries off of that which is nice so yeah that's the situation i've been really enjoying the peace and quiet uh i'm a kind of introverted person uh and this has been really lovely for me um oh i suppose there is one more thing to talk about which is bathroom so i've got one of these little toilets here um i was very suspicious i didn't want things to smell like shit i think we I think we can all understand that so i was very nervous i thought about doing a composting toilet but i'm told that there's a lot of like venting issues with that and uh, so instead i got this which i think is called a cassette style toilet both of the halves come apart and the bottom part which is full of shit and piss and all that great stuff you can just dump out um I typically try not to shit in it uh, just because that makes a smell but the beautiful thing is there is a there is a uh, essentially what is a airlock there is a there is a valve um, slot a sliding valve that you can when you open it up you do your business and then you close it and so it completely cuts off and isolates the sewage from you know the rest of your life which means that this little guy i have done all kinds of terrible things to it it doesn't smell at all which is amazing and it's really all i can ask for so it's pretty easy to empty and clean as well so again try not to do that but worse comes to worse it kind of makes sense to have a toilet anyway what are my plans my plans are to sit in beautiful areas, to draw more filthy comics, and to just have a really good time. I'm heading south for the winter, I think. Right now it's pretty nice um, here in the Midwest, but it's gonna get cold soon. I think I only have another uh, month, maybe, of decent weather. And uh, even though the van is well insulated, and I'm not worried about being too cold. I am worried about, like the whole point of this is to open up and to enjoy being part of the outdoors. And frankly, I wanna be part of the warm outdoors. So, you know, cold doesn't do it for me. I wanna head down south and probably establish residence in a income tax uh, less state like Texas or Nevada. So I'm gonna go see about that and uh, maybe visit a couple people around along the way. We'll see. Anyway, I'm not trying to plan too much either. The whole point of this is just to relax and try to live life in a, I wanna say simple manner. It sounds a little pretentious. I feel like I'm gentrifying homelessness. Eh, is it homelessness? I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling, so clearly we are done here. 
But yeah, that's the situation. I don't think I'll make many of these videos because I don't like being personal, but I thought you should know what's going on with me. So anyway, I'll see you later.